hi beautiful people welcome to my channel if you're new here welcome and if you are a returning subscriber welcome back it's great to have you in my little corner of youtube where we speak all things adulting faith and lifestyle before we get started make sure to hit that subscribe button that red button must turn gray i'll give you guys a couple of seconds to do the right thing give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it comment down below what you enjoyed about today's video and what other videos you'd like to see share this with anybody and everybody who you think might need it and last but not least hit those notification bell so that you do not miss another video so without wasting any more time let us get straight into today's video so we're back back again with another vlog it's vloggist i've i've made peace with it it's vloggist don't ask me for a vlogtober because by then i'll be all vlogged out um but it's vloggist and you guys are spending the weekend with me a weekend in the life of a young adult nothing fancy i'm an ordinary person so come along and spend the weekend with me i'll catch you guys a bit later guys so i just arrived at riverstone lodge um i'm 15 minutes early so i went to the venue to just make sure i know where i'm going and i'm back in the car now because <laughs> they're still setting up and stuff so my greatest curse is being a very punctual person so now i'm just sitting and i'm gonna just wait um so yeah yeah that's about it <laughs> That's really about it, eh? <laughs> Good morning, guys. Um, I am Uspagazi Tati, as Simpu mentioned, and I am from Alpha Code. Um, I will ask while I do the intro for the ladies to come up and, and take a seat so you guys can be comfortable. Um, so, just a little bit about who I am and where I'm from. I am from Alpha Code. Alpha Code started out and was founded by RMI um, in 2015. And when we started out, it was meant to find and source the next generation of fintech leaders and entrepreneurs. They haven't paved the way. The way doesn't exist. And so use that opportunity now to define what that looks like and push the boundaries and push the molds and believe that you actually do have the strength and, um, and that as a, as, a, as a female to do that. 100%. Thank you so much. Um, and Marie, I think you've worked with people.
so I just got back from Mal District Kruger store for from the Alan Gray event situation that was going on. Such a fulfilling day. I met such a lot of people, um, people that can actually help me in my journey right now. And I think that's one thing I really love about the foundation is that you can tap into networks that can really make growing a whole lot easier for you. Um, not just in your business, um, not just in your businesses or your side hustles, but also in your corporate life as well. Um, so I am going to get into my pajamas. Yes, it is five o'clock, <laughs> but I'm not going anywhere else. So I'm going to get into my PJs and I'm going to get to work. Um, I have quite a bit of work to do today um, because I was off on Thursday for my graduation. So there's a lot of work that I have to do um, that I would have ordinarily, ordinarily done on Thursday. Um, and I need to get it done and sent to my um, superiors for review as soon as possible. It was supposed to be done yesterday, but I just couldn't bring myself to work yesterday. Um, I did a bit, but like not... I, I didn't finish it so i'm gonna work so i don't think i'm gonna show you much for the rest of the day because you guys have seen me work from home it's nothing too deep and i'm also working from bed today um because i'm tired of sitting down um and i'm tired of like sitting on a formal chair i've been sitting on a formal chair the whole day so i'm not going to show you much of that and then after that i'm going to start editing the vlog for this coming week which is my grad vlog um so you're gonna see that vlog before you see this one if you haven't already go check it out <laughs> um for the future um so yeah i will catch you guys a bit later maybe if not i will see you guys tomorrow bye guys <music> so it is quarter to 11 and i am going to call it a night i am not done with the work that i have to do so i'm hoping to wake up early enough to work before i go to church um i am also feeling like i'm coming down with the flu which is quite annoying but all is well god will god will make a plan um so yeah, i'm just gonna have a cup of chamomile tea now and then head to bed so i'll see you guys tomorrow morning guys it is 10 to 6 my alarm rang at 10 to 5 so i've been chilling in bed for an hour i am going to get up now and start working until around quarter to eight yeah i think until around quarter to eight and then Hopefully by then I've done quite a lot of what I need to do. Um, and then after that, I am going to go to church. So I'm going to quickly work now and see if my biggest deliverable can just be done by the time I leave for church. I'll be so happy. So that's got what I'm going to work on now. And then, yeah, that's that. I really am tired. And my sinus cavity situation is feeling very weird as well. So, I need to go to Diskim and do something about that. Uh, but yeah, anyway, I'll catch you guys a bit later. Um, probably when I have gotten ready for church. See you guys. <laughs> welcome to be in the house of the Lord. My job here is very simple this morning. 
I stand here before you wanting to greet a special, special group of people. If it is your very first time coming through to any one of our campuses and this morning you find yourself at the Midrand campus and you're a first time visitor, it's your first time being here, we kindly ask that you raise your hand. This is not to embarrass you, but to give you this lovely booklet that I have in my hand right now. Um, I am home now finally I finished quite a, I pushed quite a bit of work I think the only thing I have left to do today is write tomorrow's blog post tomorrow being Monday um, and then that's it and I've kind of started on it but I'll finish it later I just want to nap um, I'm so tired and this is one of the first Sundays in a really long time where I'm done with my work before 12 p.m. or it's two now so let me say before 2 p.m. and I can actually take a Sunday afternoon nap like I'm so excited <laughs> to get into bed you guys have no idea um so yeah I'm gonna get um into the house and then nap I'm not setting an alarm I'm just because <sighs> at this point like I'm on the verge of um, burnout like I can feel my body giving up on me um so I need to tread carefully because if I work as hard as I've been working um I will find myself on a hospital bed really um because nothing is cute so I'm gonna go nap <laughs> um I'm going to go nap um and then <sighs> we'll see where the rest of the day takes me um yeah I don't know. I don't know what there is to show you guys because I'm just going to be napping. But yeah, anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Um, I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> This is me on Monday evening. Um, as you can hear, I am very nasally and I am very sick. I took the day off actually. I worked until like 10 o'clock, I think even half past nine. And then I told my boss that, listen, I can't. Uh, so I have been in bed all day and realized that I should probably start editing this vlog. 
and while sequencing i realized that i didn't record an outro last night so this is our outro i hope you guys enjoyed spending the weekend with me um, and seeing what i get up to outside of my work life even though there was a lot of work that i did this weekend um and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed that don't forget to comment like subscribe and share this with anybody and everybody in your circle um and with that with so much love and so much light from me to you have an amazing rest of the day stay safe and god bless bye guys